Well, this is Unit 3, uh, Lesson Number 1. And as you can see, we've changed our format somewhat. The university's recording facility was unavailable this past week. So I discovered that I can record directly to YouTube using uh, my own webcam. And so we'll try that as a format, and you can give me some feedback on the discussion board uh, about whether or not it suits our needs. Perhaps the production values aren't as high as they are when we record at the university, but I think for purposes of a videotape lecture, uh, this should probably serve us well. Uh, I'm going to have to watch the clock because YouTube only allows 15-minute segments, so we'll chop the lecture up uh, into 15 minutes. Uh, typically in the past, I've run about 20 minutes, uh, but this shouldn't be an impediment for us uh, either. What I wanted to begin uh, talking about in this first segment of Unit 3 is the case study. I've received a number of questions from you about the case study. Uh, if you consult the syllabus, you'll see that, the, that I want to get uh, some feedback from you on identifying your case study topic. What I specifically want you to do is give some thought to what kind of case study that you want to write. I think the best way to approach this is to review the issues that are relevant in this course. Um, if you're not aware of those, then just simply look to the table of contents uh, in the textbook or look to the uh, syllabus and the topics on our reading list uh, and identify a topic that you have some interest in. Uh, this is a survey course, so we tend to engage in aerial reconnaissance looking at things from a distance, but the opportunity for you to do a case study is your opportunity to zoom in and uh, take much closer uh, and detailed and specific look at something that you have some interest in. Once you've chosen a topic that has some interest to you, then I want you to find and choose a company that's had to confront um, this particular topic. Again, I think the cases in the back of the chapters uh, in your textbook provide very good examples about how uh, a case, uh, an issue in a case should be structured. You'll notice that what our authors do here is they have the text material, but they then have that mini case, a couple of paragraphs at the beginning of the chapter, and then the more detailed a case at the end of the chapter in which they have chosen an actual corporation dealing with actual problems that have had to confront the issues uh, that are in the um, text material. I want you to do the same thing. What are some examples? People have written case studies about um, exploding gas tanks um, on uh, Ford Pintos not to pick on Ford. They've also written case studies about uh, the Ford and the Bridgestone Firestone tire issues. We've had case studies on um, uh, any number of issues involving uh, civil rights, uh, civil justice um, in the workplace. Uh, so again, I think the cases in the back of the book um, provide you a good example. Uh, and then what I'd like you to do is send me an email in which you give me two things. First, I want a working title, and of course it can be changed. Um, it's the title that basically describes what you're doing. And then give me a one paragraph uh, description of the scope uh, of the work uh, that you intend to engage in. Uh, and. Um, the due date on that is Monday the 24th. That's not a hard and fast due date. Uh, you're not getting credit for giving me your case topic. This is simply an opportunity for you to, well, it's an opportunity for me to make sure that you're thinking about it uh, even this early in the semester. And it's an opportunity for you to get some feedback from me because I will send you a return email uh, and give you my comments. Now ideally my comments will be terrific topic, I'm looking forward to reading it. But in some instances um, uh, I, 
the the feedback will be more specific. I think the most common feedback I give is people have a tendency to choose a topic that is way too general. You know, the kind of thing that books are written about uh, rather than papers. So you want to be very narrow, you want to be very specific. And make sure that you pick a company. I don't want you to just talk about the problem in broad strokes, but choose a company that's had to confront an issue that is relevant and, and of interest to you, and then you'll write your topic about that. Now, if you go to the discussion board, you'll see I've created a discussion topic that allows you to post questions about the case study. If you have a question about the case study, chances are several of your classmates have the same question. So don't send your questions to me in a, an email that's only shared between you and me, but post it to the discussion board. I'll be watching those and I'll be answering those questions and then they'll be available uh, to all of your colleagues. All right, so that's uh, our description about the case study. Uh, I would like to see your title and your paragraph describing your scope of service within um, the next week or so. Um, in fact, we'll put a hard and fast due date uh, of a week from um, Monday the 25th. All right, thank you.